Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to do all side quests, unlock secret area of chapter 2 in Black Myth Wukong. There, you will also find the key item, Wine Tamer, which make the Yellow Wine Sage a lot easier. If you are struggling with Yellow Wine Sage, this video is for you, let's check it out. First quest, the man in stone, after finish this one, you will be able to buy to sobering stone, which is required for next quest. You can also find it in another place, but I just buy it for saving time. You should start from the squall hideout shrine, in Fright Cliff, with the monkey's face to the shrine, take the right direction, and follow this path till the end. After defeating a blue stone Gwoi, you will see the man in stone at the end of the path. Speak to him to activate the quest. Should you uncover the reason, I shall find my way out. Rocks turning into Gwoi's, just no small matter. Next step is to find and defeat the Inyo Gwoi. Also start from Squall Hideout Shrine. This time you should take the left direction, go through a gate, continue forward. You will see three different paths. Take the middle path and go through a dark cave. You might need to defeat some stone Yagwe there. Keep going forward inside the dark cave until you see three flame torches on the left side. Take the torches way. You will encounter the Yagwe chief, mother of stones, at the end. Now defeat the Yagwe and get back to the man in stone. When you talk to him again, he won't be so friendly. So you must be prepared to fight him in order to finish the quest. Your reward for defeating him is Azure Dust Transformation. It's not so strong, but super helpful in some situations when you must alive in suffering of high damage enemies. He will be a merchant selling some items including the Sobering Stone, which you want to buy for next quest. However, you need to do a rest at Shrine first. Now get back to him. Purchase the sobering stone and whatever helpful to you before we going to the next quest. The second quest is the boar quest. It's a long quest including the secret area, several boss fights, main story explanation and the key item, wind tamer. The quests start when you talk to a boar. To find him, you should start from Rockrest Flat Shrine. Go to the stairs direction but don't go up. Take the left path, right before the stair. Keep going forward, you will face to Yagwe, then a fence. You should break it and go straight to another area. He's sleeping there, to wake him up you need to deliver him the sobering stone that you just bought from last quest. He will ask you to find some food in Crouching Tiger Temple, where you defeated the Tiger Vanguard. My belly's growling. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then... Travel to the temple entrance shrine. Get in the temple. You will easily find him in the right-hand side. Once you find him, he will ask for a jade lotus, deliver it to him. If you don't have it, 
you can buy from a shrine or easily find one in some lakes. Uh, drive me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? After hearing all his dialogues, you can go back the beginning place. Be prepared, because you need to defeat a boar before he take you to the secret area. After some cutscenes, you will able to get into the secret area through a large gate upstairs. Once you finish the area, you will have the wind tamer. Bring it to the fight with Yellow Wine Sage. Whenever he uses his wind skills, activate the wind tamer to disable his skills. The secret area is straightforward, so I will let you discover it yourself. If you see this video helpful, please give me one like and subscribe. Thanks a lot and have fun.